Ms. Deckridge is an Algebra 1 and Math Lab High School teacher. Ms. Deckridge went to Bowling Green State University for four years and graduated with a bachelor. She then student taught in defiance for one year. In Hicksville High School, Ms. Deckridge has many co-workers, but we're going to focus on Ms. Gherkin and Ms. Lysette. How is it like working with Ms. Zackridge on a daily basis? I love working with Mrs. Zackridge. She's always very positive and very helpful, and she's just a great team player. Fun. Mrs. Zackridge is very positive and high energy, so it's, it's very fun. What do you think about Ms. Zackridge? I think she is a really great teacher. Um, I have... Even though I haven't seen her for very often, I know she's going to be a very helpful to me, and um, I can't wait to keep in talk. How long have you been teaching? This is my fourth year teaching at Hicksville. She has two siblings, a brother named Chad and a sister named Ashley. Some of her co-workers would like to share some memories about Miss Sackridge. What's your favorite memory that you can remember from working with Miss Sackridge? Um, one of my favorite memories from school would be when we did a lesson together, and it was a crime scene that combined math and English, and it was a Christmas crime scene, and it was just a lot of fun to work with her. Um, I don't know if I have one particular favorite memory, just her um, energy and her room transformations are a lot of fun. Uh, when she brings in treats to me sometimes, and she used to give me coffee. What is the most frustrating thing about teaching? Um, I would say the most frustrating thing about teaching is the attendance when students aren't here, um, trying to get them make, to make up the work, um, and then make sure that they're successful on the assessments that I give. Ms. Zekridge has a husband named Trevor. She has a four-month-old daughter named Brainley, and she also has a dog named Irie. Ms. Zekridge has an exciting family at home, so let's see about her family at school. What's the most exciting thing about working with Ms. Zackridge? She's always doing really interesting things in her classroom, transforming her classroom. So it's always just fun to see what she has going on and what creative things she's doing. Um, just her energy and her um, room changes. What's your favorite slash best thing that stands out about Ms. Zackridge? Um, she just... She, she helps me whenever I need it, and um, that's something I really appreciate. What's the biggest challenge today students face? I would say the biggest challenge that students face is um, making sure they're on time to school and at school um, as much as they can be, um, and then also having technology be a distraction um, instead of using it in the correct ways that we could. Junior high teacher Mr. Woolis led Ms. Zackridge into leading math. Mr. Woolis left a positive effect on Ms. Zackridge. Let's see if she leaves a positive effect on everyone. Do you think Ms. Zackridge puts a positive or negative effect on other students and teachers? Oh, definitely positive. She, she's awesome. We're lucky to have her. Positive. Definitely positive. She is definitely here to um, help teachers and students. <laughs> How do you like to communicate slash build relationships with your students? Um, I like to talk to my students um, outside of my algebra class, getting to know them. Um, I think it's really important that I know um, them personally um, and then also figure out what they like, what they don't like. That way I can try and incorporate that into my math lessons. Um, but seeing them outside of school or outside of my classroom um, in our algebra setting is one way I really like to get to know my students. The community and staff and students were what led Ms. Zackridge into working at Hicksville. Ms. Zackridge is glad she works here because she loves her students. How do you manage a normal day when you have students to teach and a baby girl to take care of? So I now have a four-month-old um, baby girl, Brindley, at home, and I try to keep my work and school life separate. Sometimes it's a little difficult when she wakes up um, in the middle of the night frequently, but um, I come to school with energy and try to make my classroom um, feel as welcoming as possible. And I make sure I still have time for her at home. Um, and then I also make sure that I get everything done here for my students that I need to.